A couple of growling protoceratops ventures out into the open to quench their thirst. This is a risky moment for them, leaving the safety of their territory for the shore of the stream. But it's just a tiny amphibian. They let their guard down, forgetting that danger lies all around them. They have forgotten that this is a cruel forest. They cannot afford even a moment of relief. The jaw muscles of this ferocious, the dreadful Tarbosaurus is the undisputed ruler of this domain, the mightiest predator to roam this land. But his savior is not far away. Patch's mother is coming to the rescue. The Protoceratops was also found in wide numbers. The home of the Protoceratops is located on the outskirts of the forest. They live in groups and eat tree roots or insects found on the ground to scrounge for food. The Protoceratops, around two meters tall, is sometimes known as the pig of the dinosaur era. Even when prey seems easy pickings, a predator on the prowl must focus The mother Tarbosaurus has chosen her target. It is the one off by itself, trying to take a mud bath and avoid the annoying flies. Her heavy frame shakes the ground as she rushes. But the Protoceratops are not an easy target. What they lack in size, they make up for in speed and agility. Exhausted from the heat, the seven-ton Tarbosaurus can't run for very long. Owing to her massive size, her bones could break her, but merely lived as one part of it. But there are plenty of opportunities. The Protoceratops' attention is focused on digging around the ground for food. fail unless he finds their weak point and quickly overpowers one. This successful hunt. When it's time to mate, the male Protoceratops tries to attract females by showing off the large frill on its head. Patch and his wife have found their prey. The Protoceratops seem not to have noticed the predators at all. the speed he can manage, the Protoceratops tries to flee, but he never imagined he would be galloping into an ambush. <laughs> <laughs> 